What's up, folks? I am so sorry about that last episode. I don't know what happened. It just kind of froze on me. But you caught, caught me in the middle of my shopping here. I just uh, bought up some potions and whatnot. Just some little things. You know, it's the little things in life. But, uh, do I actually need some repels? I didn't get any of those. We'll buy... We will buy a couple. We'll buy, like, five. That's good. Um, but, yeah, in at the end of the last episode, I was explaining Fenona. Wait, Weona here, not Fenona. Winona, not Weona, Winona, she gives us the ability to use fly, which I actually taught to uh, Pincher. So now we can fly anywhere that we've already been to, which is this whole western side of the world map. I don't think there's anything we have to do. Um, actually, you know, actually, do we have key items? We have the meteorite. Let's go fly and give that back to, don't go back in the bag. Let's give that back to Professor Cosmo, because I, I think I said I was going to go back and do that later um once i got fly and we have fly uh she also gives us the tm for aerial ace which i may or may not teach to somebody a little bit later in the game i'll oh, peep the music music's so good love the music here such a great track so that's all well and dandy let's talk to you professor cosmo oh i never should have let myself oh wait no he's yeah, i thought he was excited because we brought back the meteor right um but that's the oh i was looking for oh <laughs> there's a difference could it be yeah um, what if I say no? Let's say no. Oh, but I'm crushed with disappointment. Sure, you can have it, I guess. It's kind of stupid, because you never see Cosmo ever again in the game. Which, I feel like he could have been a pretty cool side character. You know, that kind of bumbling scientist that's always in the anime and whatnot. But, he just gives us Team 27, which is Return. Which is a move that works better if your Pokemon like you more. Uh, the counterpart is Frustration. Which, I almost don't find any interest in using because if you have a Pokemon on your team long enough frustration's power is gonna go down like it's just inevitable because you're gonna use them more and so I feel like frustration is just kind of pointless I get why they would have it but it just seems like a pointless move after a certain amount of time but we're gonna head on down I think route 120 is next and something I wanted to talk about today was the story in Pokemon games um, one of the things that's interesting as I play this game you see that like, okay, the, the overarching story of the game is that we are on a Pokemon Gym Badge quest. And, you know, you see Team Aqua, but that's never really a big deal. Um, like, they're there, and you can fight them, but they're never it's never, like, explained that, oh, now it's your duty to go dismantle Team Aqua. And the same thing happened with the first game, you know, and the second game, for that matter. The protagonist never had to, had to stop Team Rocket. He just kind of took it upon himself to do that. Which I think is kind of cool. Um, I love how Natu's just sitting on the ground. Um, it's just so stupid. But, I don't know, I find it interesting because I like... I like these games because I feel more like I'm on a journey uh, to be the best Pokemon trainer rather than, I think, the newer games where there's way more emphasis on the bad guys, basically. Uh, smelling Salt. I think this is the signature move of... Um, the signature move of these guys. So we're gonna get rid of vital thrust, or not vital thrust, arm thrust, right? Yeah, let's get, actually, yeah, we'll get rid of arm thrust because it's weaker. And I'm sure we'll get, we'll actually get a really good uh, fighting type move, a TM really late in the game, like just before the Elite Four. So I'll save out and probably delete uh, the other move. What was that, the dark move knockoff for that? I don't even know who he said he was gonna use. <laughs> So let's send out, excuse me, Cactus. But yeah, I don't know, I think that these games, um, I appreciate how it's kind of like you're doing your Pokemon League challenge and then you have these bad guys who just show up, as opposed to in the newer games like X and Y and Moon where it's this constant reminder that, oh, you have to go dismantle this bad team of bad guys, like you know they're in the way. Um, and I feel like it's way more story oriented, which is fine. You kind of expect that after a while because Pokemon can only do the whole, you're a kid, you know, catching Pokemon and having fun. But I feel like that's one of the best parts about the game. Uh, you just can kind of do whatever and it just so happens that these bad guys who come along. Because I'm thinking, you see Team Aqua early in the game um, in the forest and then you see them like at Fall Over Town, that cave with Professor Cosmo. But they're never like ideologically, they're, they're, they're ideologically opposed to each other, but it's never like the protagonist has this moment of like, oh, I'm, like, me and May just determined we have to take care of this. It's just like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to go on about my business. If I see you guys, I see you. If I don't, I don't. So I think that's kind of neat. Um, 
in this game, because I feel like I'm just a kid playing Pokemon, like I should be. Uh, okay, I do want to show off. I'm not going to fight the Ninja War. I'll come back and fight these guys off screen, because they're not that interesting. But I do want to fight this lady, because she, she can be pretty tough, uh, if you're not expecting it. Parasol Lady Angelica has one Pokemon. Oh wait, that's not her. It's not her? It's not her? I thought it was her. I thought it was her. Well, I'll find the next one. Casper's kind of cool, though, so we'll see him in action. It's raining, so he turns into a raindrop. Um, and then, I think in the hail, he, turn, he turns into like this Christmas, not Christmas tree, a ice cream cone looking thing. Here we go. We'll use hail, so that's neat. And it's kind of neat because we have Castelia Cone, or what's his name? That You know that stupid Pokemon from Gen 5 with the... He was an ice cream cone, that guy. You have him, but he kind of looks like Soft Serve, too, so I think it's kind of neat. And Sludge one more time. Maybe we can get some poison and kill him in one turn. Oh, no, that's not nearly enough. Like, why are you using... Come on. That This is this is the game like, hey, did you know Castworm can transform? Let me show you. He should have used Sunny Day so I can see all three of the evolutions. I really would have thought it would be cool if he could transform into, um, he has Sunny Day, Hail, and Rain Dance, and then if, if like, uh, Sandstorms could transform, that would be really cool, but I guess not. I do really appreciate the emphasis on weather in this game. This is the lady! Okay, here we go. Alright, let's see. I think there's, uh, we'll skip her. There's berries up here. I don't think there's anything else really up here. Um... And we'll stay out with uh, this guy, Arizona. Talk to me. She won't turn to the right, interestingly enough. She'll only turn up and left. I don't think she, I don't think she turns down when she's staying there. This is Ace Trainer, Jennifer. Sent out my Lodic. This is the Pokemon I was talking about in episode 24 or 5? 25, I think. Um, the evolved form of Feebas. Which means this lady, she definitely was using... Uh, or getting some berries and doing contests and whatnot because she had evolved it with the beauty stat, but we'll see her. Milotic is pretty, pretty he, she can be, he can be, it can be pretty tough. Um, it's probably the best water type in this game, but we should be able to take him out. Oh my god, it has refreshed, so the poison's gone, the poison's gone, the poison is gone. I think it's because it's HP and defense are so high too. Even if it's, you get like super effective shockwave, it just looks like it does no damage because it's my look. It's a freaking mermaid. Like, look at that. It's a mermaid with its little tendrils and its rainbow tail. Rainbow bright up in this bee snatch. <laughs> okay, we got poison again. Um, hopefully Arizona can take her out. I hope Water Pulse doesn't kill me. But as long as she doesn't use Refresh... Okay, yeah, she should die. Assuming she doesn't kill me. Yes, here we go. Hopefully, this poison doesn't get increasingly stronger. No, she's not. she's living. She's living. She is living, and that's a shame. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a bummer. And look, she has full restores. What trainer has full restores? I feel like they should have put more emphasis on this girl because she only has this one Pokemon. But they clearly think she's pretty important if they give her full restores and freaking Milotic and Refresh and all this other good stuff. And she's fighting in the rain. Like, come on, doesn't get much. Much better for her in that regard. Let's uh, switch into Pooh Bear here. I want to switch to Cactus, but he's going to take forever. We'll just take her out with the uh, Shockwave. Shockwave. What else to talk about? I don't know. I was, I was thinking about that Team Aqua thing. Like, I was talking about just a minute ago. And I feel like that was my big thing for this episode. So now I'm just at a loss. I have, I have nothing else. I, I talked about Jimmy Fallon and Pokemon and Nintendo. I'm like, what else is new? I can't go back to Final Fantasy 15. That's that's old. That's old news. We we don't mess with that. I will say I'm like 16 hours into that game, and it's starting. the The hype is starting to wear down, wear off, which is kind of interesting. I wasn't expecting it to wear off so soon. Um, it's still fun. It's just like, oh god. My problem is I I've come to realize I hate RPGs where you have to let's go critical hit. You're the goat, Pooh Bear. Um, I hate RPGs where you have to freaking um, upgrade weapons. Like, it's one thing to have to like get one catalyst and it's like, oh, I turned my Sword of Stone into Sword of Meteor or something like that. Like, you know, some Final Fantasy Force type stuff. But Final Fantasy 13 and this game where you have to like get certain components to upgrade 15 it is, uh, you get certain components to upgrade your weapons into other things, you'll see another 
Cleon, I will not kill him. Let's not get in the grass, though. Um, I, I just, I hate it. It's so frustrating because what are you really doing? Like, I don't, I hate having to figure, because you don't know what, what items are going to be good catalysts. You just don't. And then you have to figure it out. And then it's like, oh, if you use too much, it was a waste. And you got to go either far more or figure out how you can get more. It's just, it's way too much to keep track of. I get really tired of it. Why am I fighting? Why don't I just run away? And I'm going to switch out Swallow here. What's his name? Let me check his name. What is, what's your name, guy? Swallot. There you go. Those little beady eyes, that's kind of funny. He has those tendrils too. Let's start off with Cactus and hopefully evolve him sooner rather than later. I'll probably get him up to like level something. Uh, level 36 and a quarter away from evolving um, by next episode. That way we can come back and just get the evolution. Okay, so we can jump down. Oh my goodness, I should have just jumped down the other ledge. I don't think, I'm trying to think if there's anything you can miss out on on the left or right. But I will say this is one of my favorite routes, not only because Pokemon, or I think it's Bugcatcher Brandon is here. Let me see. But because when you get to this point, the rain stops, the sun comes out. Look at those clouds. Look at those graphics. That's something I did want to mention. These games, Pokemon have some of the most amazing graphics. It's not even funny. Like the puddles, and I think about Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, and how much how how much th these games came from that and these are only like two years later but gold silver crystal they, they looked fine i guess for game boy games hey bug maniac brandon um like what is that a search kit really but this game it just it looks so it was so vivid everything is so refreshing looking it's so bright and fun and cheery i love it oh my god let's go cactus one hit ko's it was a critical but still Another like, why do you have two circuits, dude? All right, we're gonna we're gonna let you let's we'll let cact cactus rock. See what happens. Every time I say his name, I'm like, I'm really not creative with the Pokemon names. I just name them like random letters or whatever. And please have a uh, oh my gosh, he doesn't even have like the what's the evolution? Why do I keep hitting A? He doesn't have the evolution. Um, the little water skimmer evolution guy the flying one you know like the butterfree of surskit <laughs> i can't even remember the name of it it kind of reminds me of miss Drevis, but it's not but anyway that's bug catcher brandon bug maniac brandon i guess being a maniac makes it better or something this is the berry girl talk to me give the case a shake and out pops the poke block and that poke block is caught and eaten by a pokemon it's an expression of love and yes yes you understand what i mean you should take this I got the Aguav Berry, so that's kind of nice. Um, this lady, you can come back every day and she'll give you a different berry. Or you can come here and steal these berries, what is raspberries. I'm going to leave those because those are very pretty looking. There's a Ninja Boy up there. Um, something I did mention, I did want to say, I might try this. I'll try it on a different copy of the emulator, emulator so I don't accidentally screw up my save file. But you can actually, please don't fight me. Okay, good. You can... Uh, this guy, let's fight him. Um, we'll send out Brand. He hasn't seen too much action lately. You can put in, there should be this little, like, cheat, or what? Not a cheat, but a, um, it's like a text file that changes the configuration settings of Visual Boy Advance. You should be able to pop something like a text file into, into the notepad, save it, and it should change the, uh, you know, the battery not working message. It should eliminate that. And, basically make it like you're playing on a game that doesn't have a dried out battery. So I might try that at some point, um, sooner rather than later, because we're getting, we're at about the halfway point of the game, I guess, but um, I, I wouldn't like to see if it would work, just out of curiosity's sake. I feel like Marsh Tom should evolve by now. He's level 36, but I feel like we're just we're slowly dragging it out. And Rust Ruin Maniac Chip. King Chip. Alright, this was probably a terrible decision, but we will use the Leech Seed to just get those extra points of damage. I feel like this route, um, which is 120, and then I think Route 121 is the next, like it's before we get to the next city. And then Route 119, these are definitely the longest routes in the game. Um, Fortree's a nice little break, but it's kind of a bummer because you're there, you're... Oh, I forgot he's dig dugging. Um, Fortree, it's... You're only there for a very short amount of time. There's nothing really to do there. You know, you get your thing from Steven Stone. 
and you, you kill the gym leader and the next thing you know you're all good so it's kind of a shame that there's not more to do there because I feel like places like Mauville you know you had your little side quest and even Rustboro you had to save the guy um, in these towns I, I like the aesthetics of all these towns and cities in the game but they're not nearly as uh, interactive I'd say as some of the ones from generations past even like I always think of Celadon City as the, the staple city in Pokemon games because you have the game corner, you have the hotel, which even if you don't do anything there, it's like, oh, there's a hotel. You have the department store, um, and you have, like, next door you have Saffron City and all these other... What? Oh, I used Shockwave. I thought I used Psybeam. I was like, what? I didn't think Sand Slash was dark in this game. I mean, he's not, he's not dark ever in this game. That was funny. I thought he was, uh, he had me going for a second. I guess it's because I knew he was going to use sand attack, so I wanted to make sure I could cover my bases, but... Uh, can we hit this? Can we hit this? Yes, thank you. And he is down. And Pooh Bear grew to love I need to stop using him. Psychic! What?! Psychic already? Let's go. Um, Magic Coat. We'll keep Magic Coat. I want to give it a side beam. No, we'll give it a Magic Coat, because I'm never going to use it. It's not. It's not useful. I should have kept it and tried it out once, but you never know, like the AI is bad in the sense you don't know when they're going to attack you or just be like that cast form and keep using weather moves to show off something, so I feel like the only time it would come in handy is Elite Four. I guess keep this area in mind, we will be back here assuming I do post game stuff. Um, oh, there's, was that lightning? I think that was lightning. No, not Final Fantasy 13 lightning, but lightning nonetheless. And let's uh, surf down here. 16 minutes, 17 minutes. What's this? Full heal, that's always useful. And surf right back. Um, I think I'm gonna stop shortly. Let me see when a good stopping point is. I, I'm kind of annoyed that the last episode screwed up and this one's perfectly fine, but let's actually take a look at the map. Take a look at the map. Um, more people wanna fight? That's really weird. I That pisses me off. So yeah, alright, so we're on Route 120, we're just on the cusp of Route 121, so in episode 28, or 29, we'll come back, take on Route 21, it's not that long, um, I'll also, probably, before we get to Lily Cove City, which is one of my favorite cities, if not my favorite in the game, we will come back and take on Route 123, um, which is weird, where's 122? 23, 24... 21. Oh, here we go. 22? Yeah. Okay, so 22 is there. We have to go there for story purposes, but we'll come down here, take on Route 123 so we can end up and kind of circle this whole route, and then we'll head to Lily Coast City probably by episode 30. So thank you very much for watching. This has been Pokemon Sapphire. Let's play Pokemon Sapphire, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.